Minnesota. It's beautiful in the winter. But after graduating from university, I decided to leave this wonderland and make my way to India. It was a tough decision, but I wanted to make a new start in the Far East. Along the way, I would travel through a country which had occupied my curiosity for some time, Vietnam. So, after booking a ticket around Christmas, in early February, I sat in the Minneapolis terminal on my way to Vietnam with brief stopovers in Chicago and Korea. However, to my disappointment, air travel's reputation in the U.S. was what I experienced. Well, it's morning on the 3rd of February, and right now I should have been winging my way to Korea. However, due to a number of problems, snow in Chicago, and a particular airline who used to be based out of Minneapolis having a number of repeated mechanical problems and delays with their aircraft, I missed my flight. And I came to a peculiar land known as Los Angeles. And as you'll see in this strange and peculiar land, although it is the middle of winter, there are these, this, this peculiar green stuff there upon the ground. And these pole-like structures with um, more poofy green stuff on top. There's just green green everywhere. It's like, I don't know. I, I don't understand it. Where Where's all the snow? I left Minneapolis and it was zero degrees Fahrenheit. But here, it's like it's not even winter. A most peculiar phenomenon. Green in February. Hmm. Following this amazing discovery, I went back to the airport and, in short order, was soaring my way to Korea. So, I've been in the air for a good several hours, and on the 747, it's been long but smooth, and the service has been really good since I left the United States. And I would say, in spite of the fact of being delayed, I was going to go through Chicago, and then I went through L.A. Then I missed my first flight, so I had to stay the night in L.A. But I was put up by the airline, so it was all, all in all pretty good. So, uh, I guess uh, it's, been, it's been fine. In fact, I even got a exit row seat. This is very important to get all this nice life. The hours dragged on. I got tired of watching movies, tired of trying to sleep, tired of trying to film myself, pretending to sleep. Yet, thanks to the wonderful service, I survived. And the next morning found me waking up in a dingy hotel in Saigon. Well, it's uh, morning, first morning of my time in Vietnam. And as you can see, I'm in a bit of a, a dive of a hotel. So I'm gonna go run around, try to find some breakfast, and take my first look at the city of Saigon. It should be interesting. I forayed out, taking my first view of the Nam in what is called the Backpacker District of the city. Already I began to notice a few interesting things. Senior citizens exercising in the park, a lovely cathedral was nearby, the excellent wiring system, characteristic of all Vietnamese cities. And the buildings seemed to have been patterned after me, tall and skinny. A few hours later, I caught a taxi and headed over to my preferred hotel, a nice little place, reasonably priced, and by coincidence positioned right in the heart of Saigon. This was lucky for me, because I so happened to come to Vietnam at the end of a holiday whose name is seared into the memory of many Americans, Tet.
Well, as you can see, I'm in Saigon right now, and uh, this is a Tet, I don't know if you can see, but this entire street has been blocked off, and um, there's a lot of people walking around, taking pictures and enjoying themselves, and uh, it's a lot of fun, it's very beautiful, everyone's dressed up pretty well, and uh, the, a lot of, there's a lot of decorations around. And I'm just catching the tail end of Chinese New Year, or what's known here as Tet. And uh, Tet's the most important uh, holiday in the Vietnamese calendar. It's uh, lunar based, I believe. And another significance about Tet was, well, at least for the American experience, was Tet in 1968 was the big offensive that the uh, North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong put on, or the Vietnamese Liberation Front, I believe it's called put on to uh, oust the United States. And although they didn't succeed at that point, that was, uh, in many people's uh, minds, that was the turning point of the what's called here the American War. But that's all pretty much far uh, from anybody's mind, if you ask me. From around here, people are just enjoying themselves. It's a rather warm day for, for me, but I think it's actually uh, the, the cool season for Saigon. Anyways, um, I'm going to look around, show you a bit more. I'm just glad I was able to come. It's been a, a nice vacation, and um, so far I'm having a good time. Food's cheap, coffee's great, and I just came from Minnesota where it was zero degrees Fahrenheit, and now it's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a big, big change. From four feet of snow to this. Get a load of that. The evening was an amazing spectacle of vibrant color, sound, and people. Crowds of people packed into the main boulevard in their holiday best, posing next to the holiday decorations seeing the sights and being seen, welcoming in the new year.